Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, lovely. Well, it is week three of these. This is episode three. Today officially marks 11 weeks out until show day. So 11 weeks today is the big day. How exciting. This week's episode is mainly like a vlog style. So throughout the week I've been taking little videos, um, clips of kind of what I'm doing, what's been happening in the day, um, stuff like that. Any big announcements? Well, one, I have an eyelid infection. So um, that appears towards the end of this video. <laughs> it's nearly gone. Like it's still a little bit spoiled up here. Um, I don't know if you can see. The shininess is from like a cream that I put on. My eyelid isn't like sweating. Um, my eyelid is fine. It's just very itchy at the minute. Um, and the only other big announcement is show dates. So um, PCA announced their full calendar for the year and a lot of the shows that I, well, all of the shows I originally was doing have gone. The Northwest one, which was originally in Manchester, had been moved to Leeds, which was fine, but the dates were just really awkward. And then the Yorkshire show completely has disappeared and now there's a North East show. Um, so I looked at the dates and was like, none of these are really like practical they were doable but they weren't practical because it was like i would have my fit x show and then like a weird amount of time before the next one um so we spoke to josh and basically what is happening is i'm going to do the fit x show in 11 weeks and then i'm going to have a break and then on in september i'm going to do the manchester show and then if that goes well um obviously finals is just around that corner um yeah feeling good feeling positive i'm so happy now that like there's a plan for shows and stuff i'm like we're in there like we're doing good um so hopefully we've enjoyed this week's style video a bit more vlog like kind of little bits here and there every day uh next week i'm going to try and do a q a video so if i can get enough questions from people um particularly um people who are thinking about doing a competition or people just kind of wondering kind of how it's going and stuff like that um i might do that next week depends how many questions we get uh lovely so have a great week guys and i will see you in the next episode bye hello so it's monday uh today i'm on a nice walk say so nice it's been hard um I keep on thinking that I'm meant to be training legs tonight as well, which probably wasn't the most sensible idea in the world. But and in typical fashion, when I got to the top, there's absolutely no visibility at all. So it was literally got to the top, tapped the, uh, what's it called? What's it called? The um, thing. It's not a can. Like the summit stone. I don't know what it's called. Trick point. There you go. Literally touched the trick point and then walked back and went back the same way. I was going to go another way because there's no visibility. The other path isn't very clear, so I just thought that was a bad. Oh. <laughs> ah, there we go. Just fell into a bog. Lovely. I'm glad I got that on camera. <laughs> uh, as you see, visibility isn't great. Um, so I've got this. I might be going on a walk tomorrow. I'm going to see how I feel. Um, so obviously I'm meant to be training legs today. But I could swap it over and do upper body. I'm going to do legs tomorrow. I don't know. I'll just see how I feel tonight. But it took about an hour and 54 minutes to get to the top. So I'm going back. You can see everything now. Look how pretty that is. Um, so I've still got quite a bit of a way to go back. Um, but yeah, I like to at least do one big walk in the week. One, to make sure my steps are in there. And two, you know, it's just nice to get out, isn't it? Get outside, not really think about anything apart from where you put your feet. 
hopefully not in a bog. And yeah, cool. I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Hello, so it's still Monday. Um, I got back from my walk about, I don't know, an hour and a half ago, maybe. Yeah, something like that. So the full walk took me um, three hours, 38. So basically three hours, 40 minutes, um, which is really good going. So I was expecting it to take four hours. So I've got a pre-workout. I've done some kind of mobility stuff for my ankle and my feet just to kind of loosen them up a bit. Um, Cause they were feeling quite tight, which I mean, after having four hours in like walking boots, they are going to be tight. I've got a nice little Sarah Sigmas Dottie um, documentary on just to help me get through the first bit. I'll probably switch over onto music in a minute though, um, because I'm gonna need it. So like today we've got um, three sets of walking lunges, three sets of wall set paired with foam roller, heel elevated, squats then we've got split stance um hip thrusts then we've got deficit reverse lunges i think that's it so it's quite a small one which is why i was like i'll do it um because it's not a massively long workout it'll probably take 40 minutes um including warm up and cool down probably an hour um but yeah so we're gonna go for it I'm not worried about taking pre-workout because I'm so tired after that walk. Um, so, and I've got nothing else to do. I'm just working out, eat some food, and I'm gonna have a bath, and that is it. So we've trained, so we've done a 16 kilometre walk, there we go, yeah, just under 10 miles. Um, I now trained legs, my bum hurts a lot, but I'm so ready for food, oh that's really sad, how is that 20 grams? Um, so we're on, we've got potatoes, sausages, carrots, oh I'm dead. I was great in that workout, That it felt really good. I didn't go down in any weight for any of them which I was very surprised about considering that I've walked so much today and it wasn't exactly a flat walk. <laughs> I um. I don't know what it measures like the stair thing on, on a watch. There were 187 flights of stairs I've apparently walked up today. 187. There we go. I've all, almost had all my water. As soon as I finish that cup of coffee, I've got 100 ml of water to have. And then I've completed four litres. This is my last meal of the day, which makes me a little bit sad, but it's half eight at night, so... I don't really have that much time to eat anyway. Oh, my glutes. My glutes! Lovely. So I'm going to go and pose and stuff now. And I'll see you in a bit. Good morning. I am being an Eskimo today. It is Tuesday. It is two minutes to eight in the morning. Um, I woke up at quarter to seven. Because there was a van driver who, I don't know what he was doing. Um, my right glute kills. My left side's fine, it's just the right side. Which is good because that's the side that was that's um my 
piriformis on that side is tight anyway and a little bit lazy sometimes um, which is why it hurts so much so I'm currently making my lunch for when I go out on my walk I've got my yoghurt and a coffee which I'm going to have and I've got an hour until I'm teaching so I'm going to do a bit of reading i just come back from my walk well I say I've just come back I came back probably about 15 minutes ago but all I've done is sit on the floor with a cup of tea and highlight maps because um, I like to highlight where I've been on my walks and stuff so as you can see lots of highlighting has gone on um, yeah so I'm going to have this cup of tea then I'm going to have a pre-workout meal and then I'm going to train my glute is so tight just on my right side my left side's fine so I'm going to do a little bit of stretching probably whilst I'm having this cup of tea um, I also I know PC haven't released properly dates again um, but someone who I follow who was doing the same show as me um, just commented um, about the dates on the website so I went on the website to have a look and it appears that the Northwest show which was in Manchester is now in Liverpool which is fine um, and it appears that the Yorkshire show does not exist anymore um, and it looks like the Northwest show is going to be halfway through July um, which isn't ideal I don't know but that's basically an update at the minute um, so I'm going to finish a cup of tea off have my cocoa pops and then train upper body I'm really cold at the minute so I'm just going to stay still for a little bit which makes no sense, clearly I need to move if I'm cold <laughs> right, in a bit hello I feel so tired and weak that was not a fun workout <laughs> well I mean it was and it wasn't. So I got a big hole in it. It was just tough, man. It was a tough workout. Um, I had to go down in weights, which is never fun for the good old ego, is it? But hey, we've done it. So it's what it is, isn't it? I'm dead. I think two big walks. Two workouts on the same day, or not workouts on the same day, like two walks and then eating. Oh my god, see, my brain is just fried. I think two walk. oh my god. Basically what I'm trying to say is I think having a walk and a workout on the same day, I don't even know if I said walk, I feel like I said work then. I'm just dead. I'm absolutely dead. So tomorrow I think I'm going to have a rest day. I'm meant to train tomorrow, but I think I'm gonna have a rest day tomorrow because I literally feel like poop. I don't, that's a bit dramatic, I feel okay. But thankfully I haven't got anything to do tomorrow, but I know I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna do absolutely nothing because I feel terrible. I feel really cold as well. Oh, I'm so glad I get to go to sleep tonight. Right, lovely. Um, I'll talk to you in a bit because I'm dead and I'm not very entertaining. <laughs> Bye. Hello. It's Wednesday. I should be up, but I'm so tired. The really annoying thing is I woke up earlier it was still dark, I think it was like quarter past six. And I feel like if I got up then, I would be awake. But, oh, I'm tired. But I need to get up and um, do my check-in for my coach. I have a coffee. And then I teach class. And then I can chill out. Um. Um, but yeah, I used to get up. It's 
I don't know what time it is. I think it's about 10 past 8. I teach class at 9, so I've got 50 minutes to get up. Do you want to check in? I have a coffee and stuff. But I am tired. But here we go, Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Hello, everyone. So, morning has, well, what I class as the morning has now finished. So, I got up, did my check in, um, had a coffee, taught my class. Now we're on to food, so I'm going to make some food. Um, when, well, usually once a week I'll have like a home day where I'll do like cleaning, bits of admin and stuff, so that is today. Um, so I need to hoover throughout the house, clean the bathroom, might paint a door, clean the kitchen floor, stuff like that, boring stuff. Um, yeah, so there probably won't be much from today because it's not a very exciting day because it's literally just me cleaning stuff. Um, yeah, lovely. So I'm going to have breakfast now and then I'll probably cash in at some point in the day, probably when I've had a reply from my check-in. Um, I'm unsure whether I'm going to train today. I'm leaning towards having a rest day. See how I feel. Yes. Hello, it is still Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to train, I decided I'm going to train, purely because otherwise I, I I'll just sit down all day and I don't want to do that. Um, so I'm going to go lighter, I'm going to do like a nice little recovery session. The thing that's put me off is, it's still my glute. Like part of me is actually considering doing upper body again, because my upper body doesn't feel that bad, I actually feel better today than yesterday. Um, but I don't know, I'm getting very bored. I've just done some learning and some stuff like that and I'm hungry so I need to eat anyway. And I'm just feeling like I wanna, I wanna do something. So I'm gonna try. Um, yes. So that's that, I'm just gonna make my pre-workout um, non-vegan cocoa pops and <laughs> protein shake. Uh, but I've cleaned everything, I've cleaned all the floors, I've cleaned the ki um, kitchen, I've cleaned the bathroom, I've hoovered everywhere. I've done learning. I've done the bins. It's like, what else to do in lockdown, you know? What else to do? So, I'm, I'm going to train. Cool, that was just two minutes of me rambling about the fact I've decided I'm going to train. <laughs> Hello, friends. It is Thursday. I have taught a class I've just had breakfast and I'm about to go in nine minutes um, to go and do a PT session today is rest day because I decided to train yesterday uh, which actually was a good session uh, but I'm excited to have a day of um, not having to work out <laughs> um, yeah hello still Thursday <laughs> Um, I've just been to Asda to get some food because um, I ran out of soy milk so I need to get some soy milk I'm low on bagels and Asda do the bagels the nice bagels anyway and they're cheaper ones um, so I've just got a pack of well I've got three packs I think yeah three packs of the New York bagels the tomato and herb ones because uh, they've only got 117 calories per bagel and the plain ones have more in which I don't quite understand I guess maybe there's less flour in these because there's bits of tomato and stuff in it. I don't know. Um, so I got these. I got some more frozen berries and I was on the hunt for some vegan cocoa pops. Um, because although it was a big box, I have nearly finished. I mean, I've probably got enough for a few more days. So really, I could have gone and shopped around at some different shops. But if I don't have to, I'm not going to. And the Asda own brand cocoa pop chocolate crispies whatever they're called have milk in which is very nice of them to do that uh so i was like right okay can't have that then i looked at chocolate wheato hoops and they didn't have milk in but um the vitamin d again was from sheep's wool so i was like okay can't have that 
so I stared for a bit I looked around because I knew that the chocolate shreddies were vegan but because they're heavier like per little square you get like 12 pieces and I like to have a lot of food <laughs> so in the end we went for cookie hoops which have no milk in and there's no vitamin d in it so they're vegan uh but yeah that's that's it so far that's it go home have a cup of coffee and then have a bagel probably because i'm allowed more as i say when it's arrested i try and pace food out because i don't want to be there like i've got no food left but up until this week until tuesday josh has given me um extra calories so on training days i get a bagel with jam which i think is meant to be a bagel thin but yesterday i ran out so i actually had a full bagel which may have been naughty um <laughs> i'm not sure i think it was a bit naughty which is why i bought loads of bagel thins um and then on rest days i now get 200 grams of potato which i uh, lovely, right, I'm going to end this and go home now because I'm just sat in Alstair Car Park waiting for nothing. Right, in a bit, guys. In a bit. Hello, everyone. It's Friday um, and I've woken up with an eye infection. I mean, you can't actually see it here. Thankfully, the spot... I mean, you can kind of see it spoiled up a bit more, the eyelid. So it was an infection of the eyelid as opposed to, like, conjunctivitis or whatever. Um, so I've just been to the pharmacist, I've got some cream, well, ointment to put on. Um, so I need to do that. It literally feels like I've been punched in the eye. But I don't think I have. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I need to, I've got an hour until I need to leave for PT session. So it's going to have some breakfast, put this in my eye. Um, PT, come back. work out, do an online PT session, chill out. Um, one good thing actually, because I thought yesterday I might have had a cold sore, that's gone. So I think it just, I did just like open mouth too much and it cracked the side. Um, but now I've got this, so. <laughs> but yeah, happy Friday everyone. Hello. Oh, it's cold. Friday, I've just finished PT. My eye really hurts look at that I mean it's a bit it's shiny because it's got the um, the stuff on it because I had to put it in my eye and on top of the eyelid <laughs> but it doesn't look very happy oh poor eye uh, <laughs> yeah lovely so I'm on my way home now my hands are very cold I'm gonna eat my bagel and then I'm gonna, no I'm not I'm gonna have my pre-workout and then I'm gonna train but I do tell my bagel. I uh, have both. That's just me being really greedy. I don't know. I'll see. Anyway, in a bit. In a bit. Hello to the world's strangest angle. I just can't bother to get my tripod out. Um, so I'm yeah. I'm going to train. I'm going to have a pre-workout meal, and I'm going to train. I'm going to save my bagel for a snack. Um, but following on from yesterday, I bought these. I'm going to try these. I'm not going to have all of them. I might do half and half. It doesn't taste of anything to be honest. It tastes a little bit like cookie crisp actually. So, fill me the 25 G's of these. So, I'm going to have this, and I'm going to have a coffee, and I'm going to train. I've got an hour and a half until I've got a client, and my workout is an hour, so we have time. We have time for stuff. Hello, it's still Friday. Um, just finished PT sessions for the day. Uh, I'm gonna have my bagels because we've got meal two bagel that I haven't had, my little star chart. And then after training, I've been given an extra bagel. I'm, I'm words come on. After training, I've been given a bagel that I can have. Um, so I've got, I'm gonna do my two bagels now, bagel fins. Um, and I'm gonna have a bath and then eat 
my potato meal and then chill out and then eat my other meal. Still got so much food to have today. I mean, I haven't. What time is it? But quarter to five. I've got this and then two more meals to have. Um, obviously, these bagels are meant to be separate. But that hasn't happened today, which is fine. Uh, uh, but no, that's it. I'm going to... I need to do some dishes, actually, whilst I'm waiting for my bagels. And then eat, bath, chill, eat, chill, eat, <laughs> sleep. And then tomorrow we've got... Um, some more PT sessions, then I'm training and then chill. I've got quite a bit of business stuff to do as well, like trying to sort my life out for April. Um, so we've got, what, five weeks left until we should be in the gym. I think it's five weeks. One, two, three, four, five, six weeks. Six weeks, I think. Um, yeah, so I need to do some of that. Nothing too exciting, unfortunately. Well, yeah. Happy Friday, everyone.